guys, welcome to Love from Knitter Podcast. This is episode 22. Today is November 11th, 2015. It's Veterans Day um, in the U.S. My name is Anne. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, Twitter, and Periscope at ZanFran25. Um, I'd like to say hello to all the new viewers, and welcome back to those that are returning. You can find the group on Ravelry under Love Field Knitter Podcast. And show notes can be found at either Ravelry um, in the forum threads or under leftfieldinterpodcast.blogspot.com. Uh, I'm also the owner of LFK Stitch Markers, and that can be found at storyenvy.com. Not a lot's happened since the last time I spoke with you guys, which was about three weeks ago. Um, I did have an interview um, that did not turn out very well. Um, in other words, I didn't get the job, um, but I'm not discouraged. Um, I got some pointers on what I could improve upon for next time. Um, so I'm still trying to keep my head in the game. Uh, life itself has just been pretty much going to work and coming home. Uh, this week I'm doing 12-hour shifts, so there's not a whole lot of time. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, so I guess we'll just go ahead and get into the actual podcast meet. Um, I had a question, uh, again from Allison Roseboom. Um, she wanted to know about the sock blockers that are behind my head. Um, her question was, the sock blockers behind your head, did I make them? Or, well, did you make them? If not, where did you get them from? I don't have any, but would love to get some, uh, would love to get some one day. Um, I'd also, I would like some like yours simple and allows the yarn dry with, without being solid. Um, so the... Let me pull this one down here. These are actually my large set, um, which are pretty much for like men's socks. Um, so I have a set of smalls, which are for my munchkin socks. Um, mediums, which are my socks, and then the large, which are the husband socks. Um, so these are done by Bryce Brun, or Bryce Bun, excuse me, stainless steel sock blockers. Um, I actually got these from my local yarn store, but I think they're available on Knit Picks website as well. Um, they're about 16 to 17 dollars a piece. Um, of course, U.S. dollars. And like I said, I've got three different sets, so I can, whoop, excuse me, this place pops <laughs> with these. Okay. Um, so, there again, I didn't make them, um, but like I said, I got them from my local yarn store. Um, <laughs> got a little distraction in my lap today. This is Smokey. He's a tabby Siamese mix. <laughs> and he's my little lover. He likes to sit in my lap and be loved all the time. So he's a little bit of a distraction tonight. This is the cat I was trying to get to come on camera last time. Okay. So I guess we'll go into the finished products. Um, or projects, I should say. The first set that I finished were the um, Indiebra Yarn Crawl socks from 2014. Um, as you can see, I've got two full socks. Um, this is done in Ladybug Fiber Company uh, in the N MCN Kettle Dyed Sock um, in Winter Jewels colorway on a US 1 2.25 millimeter. So that's those. I love the way that the spiral happened and then the toes and the heels are completely different as far as uh, the way that the stripes came out. Which is not really a stripe, it's more of a variegated that uh, spirals. But I love the way it comes out kind of, uh, it goes thin and then it gets thicker and then it goes thin again on the heels. The next pair of socks that I finished are the uh, Fish Lips Kiss Heel uh, socks 
these were done on size 0, 2.0 millimeter, um, using opal masking ball in the number uh, 3000 colorway. So, as you can see, it's just got the fish lips kiss heel, and it's, like I said, these were done on zero, so this is uh, the tightest gauge sock that I've ever knit. And that's all that I've finished. Um, although I guess technically I could tell you that I finished the original uh, shawl from Josh called Stained, which is part of the uh, mystery cow that's going on um, that ends on the 22nd. Um, that one was done out of Miss Babs Yalza Water Skein in Oyster and Volcanic Eruption on size 9's 5.5mm. Uh, 5 5 um, like I said the last time I recorded, um, I do not have that with me because that is with him. Um, him being Josh Ricks. Like I said, he's sort of a knitter, so he'll be showing that off on his podcast, I hope, soon. Um, so that everybody can see what it looks like. Um, and it turned out huge. It, I'm 5'5", five five, so my, of course my wingspan is about 5'5", five five as well. Um, and it was hanging at least 6 inches off of each side, so it's at least like 6 feet, 6'6", six, six, something like that. Um, so... The next thing that I'm working on as far as works in progress, I have a half of a finished pair of socks. These are the Bubbles Down the Drain by Stacy Perry, which is very pink, of uh, the Very Pink Knits uh, blog. This is being done out of Nerd Girl Yarn Bounce and Stop ba Stomp Base in the Goo Queen colorway on US 1 2.25 millimeter. So as you can see this is the first one here. I incorporated the Fish Lips Kiss Heel. Um, it's kind of a shorty sock but for me this is perfect length for my my ankle length. Um, I have been known to make them a little higher but I think this is perfect for the way that it is. And then here's the second one as you can see I've just got a couple of the repeats in the toe. Okay, so let's see. The next thing that I've worked on this week, um, I actually pulled out an old work in progress because I finally got the needles freed up. Um, of course, it's all tight on my needles, but this is the Alistair's Rose Pie Shawl um, by Andrew Spake uh, in the Burnett uh, Softy Baby in white color. Um, on US 7, which is a 4.5 millimeter. Um, I've only done like a couple of rows, but um, at least I did work on it. So it's slowly going to be to the point of being able to be done. Um, it will have a applied lace border. Um, so that's going to take some time as well. The next thing that I'm working on consistently is the second stained mystery shawl um, and if you guys are working on it and do not want to be spoiled um, I am at section 13 um, so I am almost done um, so I will show you what um, it looks like so far so like I said if you don't want to be spoiled just look away for a little while Ooh, excuse me or fast forward Okay, so we've got this part here, and I think I was to here last time, but I can't remember. Um, I know I had done at least the first two clues the last time I showed you. So, um, we have this much more, um, and it, it is already almost five feet in itself. Um, but we are on the border here. Um, he's got uh, a lot of short row sections at the end here. Um, so, and I have come to learn short rows. Um, but I, like, like I said, I'm only like 
seven rows from being done completely, and then it'll have an applied I cord border. Um, so I am excited about getting that one done, and I do, um, as with the um, Typhoon, I still have another one in mind that I would like to get done. Um, so I would like to make another one um, and hopefully give it for a Christmas gift. Um, let's see, that's all I've consistently worked on, um, but I still have in progress, um, and have not worked on it, the, uh, Sparkle Punk Mystery Sock, uh, Knit Along, um, or hasn't been able to complete the mystery yet, um, so I'm still waiting on a cuff, so I still have the same, uh, amount of sock done that I did last time. Um, still in progress, waiting in the wings, is the Mockery Socks. And, um, I attempted to pick up the border, um, I'm sorry, the button band and the collar on the Delancey cardigan, uh, the other day. And I got to what I thought was 60, and it was only 52, so I had to, I, I, I went ahead and pulled it back out. And I'll try to pick it up again this weekend and try to get that, uh picked up correctly. Um, so that's all of the actual works in progress. And now I want to introduce a new section, and I'm calling this my madness, because um, I've kind of jumped on the bandwagon a little bit here um, when it comes to a um, sock yarn blanket. Um, I've only got one square right now, but I, I plan to do a uh, minor square blanket, um, and the pattern that I chose to use is the Mitered Square Wrap Shawl by OC uh, Knit Toit. Um, <laughs> and I'm going to be using a size 2, which is a 2.75 millimeter, um, and like I said, I've only got one, but um, hopefully after I get a few things off the needles, um, I'll feel like I can work on this a little bit more, um, because I have plenty of, um, sock, uh, scraps, um, and this year, um, last year I did, I think, 12 pairs of socks. This year, if I complete all the ones that I have on the needle and plan to do, um, by the end of the year, if I'm lucky, I'll have about 24 pairs this year. Um, that's not to mention all the socks that I did the year before I started really being addicted to socks. So I have a full bin full of sock scraps. Um, I haven't received anything new or bought anything because I'm kind of on a budget crunch right now. Um, but I did want to go ahead and go into the shop update. Like I said, you can find the store at lfkstitchmarkers.storeenvy.com. Um, and the week after I recorded, um, I decided to try to make up some more bags for the shop. So I have 10 designs of sock sacks, um, two of each design. So. I guess I'll go ahead and start showing them to you. Um, each one will have a dual drawstring, um, so it will cinch up real good, um, or real well, excuse me, I know some grammar Nazis, <laughs> speaking of Josh, will uh, correct me on that one. Um, so the first one I have is the, what they call Onyx Daisy, um, and that has a gray interior. And then the next one is a get the string off of it. A yellow daisy with a gray interior as well. The next one hmm, excuse me. Is a black and white bicycle with a lime green interior. The next one is a paisley, uh, blue paisley, with a white interior. We have a pink paisley, 
with a white interior. Smokes, you gotta get off of those. We have a pink fleur de lis with a white interior. Excuse me. We have gray and pink bicycles with a gray interior. I have two black fleur de lis, but one has a green interior. And the other one has a red interior. And I have two owls. And these have a green interior. I have black paisley with a red interior. And that's it. So like I said, I've got two of each of those bags. Um, please feel free to drop by the shop. If there's something that you see in the shop um, and you want, like, for say, stitch markers, um, you, want, you like the set, but you want to see if I have enough beads to make a larger set, like, say, for a shawl or um, just more stitch markers to begin with, um, I'm open to uh, suggestions, so if you have any questions or comments, please make sure that you leave them in the group, um, and feel free to join the group, uh, come by Chit Chat, and we'll uh, pick up hopefully in two more weeks, and like I said, if not, if life gets away with me, I'll catch up when, uh, with you when I can, and um, let's try to help stay focused on our knitting. Bye guys. Thank you.